they did. Plays for you when the game was pretty tight. Can you expand on your defense? Yeah, I, I think that the defense as a whole was, you know, first of all, on body, uh, pass uh, breakups, um, and, and then, you know, holding a team that is so efficient offensively to seven points. Uh, it's it's got to be one of our best performances in some time defensively against. That's an outstanding quarterback. Uh, the, 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 even on the drive that they scored, he had to make three outstanding throws, uh, and even the one they scored on. So, Coney was uh, again all over the field. Uh, he got the game ball from us. Uh, back to back games where um, he just he's just ascending, playing really really good football. Julian Love comes up with the great pick six again, two times this year. Uh, really kind of gave us a momentum swing there big in the game. And, and you mentioned Brandon's efficiency in the passing game. You feel like that's going to continue and also did, you didn't have a lot of planned runs for him today. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know that, uh, you know, we, we go into the game with uh, planned runs. A lot of them are off read option and, and they gave us the opportunity not to, they, they had somebody assigned to them, but it opens up other things, you know, again, you know, rushing against that defense to rush for 300 yards. Uh, what would you say? I mean, that's pretty pretty impressive. Um, you know, the matchup was going to be, I think, the number six ranked uh, rush defense against our offense, and you know, I think we came out on top there. Coach, back here. You're two thirds of the way through the season now. I'm just curious what your assessment of your football team is as opposed to where they were in week one. Oh, we've gotten better each and every week. We're physically stronger, so mentally, um, we, we've established a, a mindset as to how we play, and then <clears throat> I think our kids are trusting the teaching. And so, you know, if you take the, the physical, the mental, and the teaching, um, it's, a, it's a team that is uh, getting better. And you mentioned, Josh, in your opening remarks, <coughs> another 200-plus performance with another touchdown that went for over 60 yards. As far as his Heisman candidacy goes, what do you? It was seventy-seven yards. I know it was in front of me, so I want to make sure. <laughs> what do you think this game says about him in that in that regard? I just think if you wait till the end of the year, a lot of the questions will get answered. If if you don't vote, or if you if you hold your vote until the end of the year, that'd be great. I think he's a great back, and there are other great players that are up for the Heisman, but he continues to play against top competition and continues to excel uh, on a very good football team. And um, again, there's, there's plenty of really good football left in this season, and I think we should just let it play out.